Hello everybody and welcome back to Evil Ted Live here on twitch.tv slash Evil Ted Smith. In today's episode, I'm going to do another bit of a toy mod. This is an old uh, dart gun back from the 80s. Uh, hammer thing. But the reason I, uh, I'm so excited about this gun is because this is the exact firearms they use in the movie Aliens. The Colonial Marines had these as their sidearms in the movie. And I forgot that I had a toy version of this. For some reason I painted it silver. I forgot why. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and do some uh, Bondo patching, a little sanding, a paint job, and turn this into a really cool costume prop for my, hmm, maybe Colonial Marine costume? We'll see. Well, you guys ready? Let's get started. Right out of the gate, uh, definitely this says Imperial Toys. We're definitely going to sand that off. Uh, these are plastic screws because actually the actual gun has these. Uh, these do not. So I'm going to fill these in with Bondo. And uh, definitely go through here and do a little cleanup on these seams. So let's start with the plastic lettering. And some of this rough edging back here. Go ahead and sand that. All right, start off with this, the majority of the sanding. Uh, but I'm not quite done yet, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some Bondo and fill in these two screw holes. Now this is the... Uh, plastic toy has screw holes in it which is nice because that's the original design we're definitely keeping those but uh, these are the uh, screw holes for the toy so I'm definitely gonna fill these in to make this look more like the real gun so I got my body filler All right. Get in there, get in there. Let's give this a couple of minutes to uh, cure. We'll come back and we'll sand that. All right, the bundles are properly cured. Take my sanding stick here. I've gotten that sanded down, but the one thing about Bondo is it's a good filler, but it's not so much of a good finishing. So it's, a little, it's still a little bit of a texture and porous to it. So that's when you come back in with some uh, Bondo glazing putty. I'm going to go back in over these and let's kind of do some of these seams that I sanded too. We'll do that first. Let me clean off my, I, always, I, like, I take a razor blade <laughs> sometimes just to clean off the, when you're using a metal spatula, you can just take a good sharp blade and scrape off the, uh, the Bondo. I'd say about 25-30 minutes past. This is nice and dry. I want to go back in. Now this time, with the spot putty, I don't want to go too heavy. It's too heavy of a grit. So I'm going to use a finer grit. All right. Get a little look over. It looks, looks great. And what we're going to do is we're going to spray this because this is plastic and I would like the Bondo are uh, more like the, like the primer to stick to this plastic really well, but before I do the primer, I'm going to use Bulldog Adhesion Promoter, and it does exactly what it says, it promotes. This stuff was designed for uh, plastic bumpers on cars and flexible things. We use this a lot in the prop shop, where we're making rubber knives or rubber props. We would spray this stuff on our rubber props before we paint them with acrylic paints or Sims or whatever paint, or flexible paints we're using. This really helps it stick. So we're going to spray this with the Bulldog first. All right, I got my adhesion promoter on it. And the next step is I'm going to warm up this Rust-Oleum and spray paint this outside. And there it is. Now, what am I doing? I went ahead and sprayed the, uh, while I was out there, kill two birds with one stone, let that dry, and hit this with the uh, Rust-Oleum uh, flat protective enamel now being enamel base is what I, the reason I'm using this paint this is because of what I had in my shop I I ran out of black paint but I had this now this works work well but the thing you have to understand is this is enamel so it'll take a little bit longer to dry I put this on pretty heavy so I can tell you right now what's gonna happen I'm gonna have to let this dry thoroughly before I do any more painting on this yeah good job Ted <laughs> well there it is it's taken days for it to dry, let it sit for a couple of days, and now it's nice and dry. The enamel paint is great, but it does take a, quite a while to dry. But now that it's on here, I really like this. So the actual gun 
this is like a, a carbon, like a, it's a high impact plastic on the actual gun. And this is uh, made out of metal. So I want this to get a little bit of a wear and tear on it, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna go crazy. I'm gonna use rub and buff. I got my pewter rub and buff and I'm going to do a slight, but I'm gonna do, I don't wanna go crazy, I'm gonna go very, very light, which means I have to spread it thin, but I don't wanna get any rub and buff on this. So I'm going to take some blue tape and protect that so I don't want my fingers all over it. I'll line this up and put some tape on this. There we go. Again, we do the rub buff. The trick with this is that I want to go, um, I don't want to go too heavy because with this, less is more. So I'm going to be very, 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 very light. I'm going to thin this out with my fingers. Do a little blotting. There, see? And I'm just going to go really faint. Work, focus on the edges. Kind of give it that natural wear look. Yeah, there we go. Looks good. It's a little subtle. I don't want to go too. I don't go too much more than that. But oh, and this side, uh, got a little heavy, got a little spot right here. And once it's on, it doesn't want to come off. So I'm going to take alcohol. Now, I normally, I would be a little concerned about the paint job, but this is a uh, enamel paint. It's really dry, so I, want, I don't have any fear of wiping that off. So I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, alcohol on a paper towel here. Let's see if I can't rub some of that excess off. Well, it actually works. I mean, it take it won't take it off completely, but it definitely knocks down some of the uh, the brightness on it that I wasn't that crazy about. Um, I'm going to go a little heavier on the edges here, on the tip, because the idea is this has been going, pulling in and out of the holster a lot. And I see a spot. See it messing me right there. Oh my God, look at that. It just bit into that table. Am I going to be able to get that off? Oh my God. <laughs> that rub and buff just stuck into this, my cutting mat. People, make sure you put paper down when you're working with rub and buff. Holy cow. Gonna beef up this edge just a little bit, like that. Not too much. All right, this looks really good. I'm happy with the weathering on this with the rub and buff. Next step I'm gonna do is notice the barrel is still kind of white in there, so I'm gonna take some Tamaya flat black. I'm going to brush inside the barrel so it just kind of goes away. And so, when in doubt, black it out. Uh, and this receiver right here. Um, not the actual lip, but I want to paint this, I want to paint this part inside here silver. Like that. Just like that. Now that the barrel's been blacked out, we're going to move on to and paint this chrome. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> when a lid does not want to come off, that's where the heat gun comes in handy. I just warm it up. Ta-da! I know what it does. The heat just softens the paint up so it just breaks free. But man, that was not coming off. Wow, there it is. Looking good. Let me clean the brush real quick. Now being strong, I'm go ahead and remove the tape very carefully. Wow, I am digging this gun. This looks awesome. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but less is more with this gun. Again, the barrel's all nice and black. I got it all nicely, slightly weathered. Uh, and the top there's the metal receiver. The, the ammunition will kick out. Um, this is awesome. Well, there it is, the HK VP70 handgun. Uh, of course, I found out it was crafted by the Germans. Amazing firearm, and it's super cool looking prop because I'm gonna be using this for my Colonial Marine costume. Again, this is an old toy. Again, people are going to be asking me where I got this. I got this years ago. I go, f I don't want to say like the 80s. I was pretty young. It came in a two pack. It was a Beretta and this gun. And the Beretta I wanted more because that was the gun they used in every movie. And this is kind of like, ah, oh, what am I going to do with this? And I didn't throw it away. And luckily I kept it. And then I found out later that these are the guns they used for aliens, as sidearms. I thought super cool. So I went ahead, 
and repaint everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys uh, like what I do with my video, don't forget to subscribe. And everything I use in this video, I have links for it below. And definitely, you need to go to my website, eviltedsmith.com, and get on my mailing list. I have numerous patterns. If you're a newbie to cosplay, I have really simple, basic patterns to get you started. And also, you can shop through my Amazon link for supplies. I have great help. That always helps me keep making videos. And if you're watching this video, you can come and watch me live on twitch.tv slash evilteddsmith Mondays and Tuesdays from 9 to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will catch you back next time right here on Evil Ted Live.